in the chaos You're my compass When the road is long You're my portion Never failing For me only Jesus Let my heart want for nothing But it just you Let my heart want for nothing But it just you The riches of this world Could never satisfy Let my heart want for only Want for only You're my center Should I wander You're my fear
Only Jesus for me, for me. Only Jesus for me, for me. Only Jesus for me, for me. It's true. It's only Jesus for me, for me. Only Jesus for me.
Such a sweet presence in here. Such a sweet presence in here. I feel like there's a spirit of transformation in this room that lives are just being transformed just as we rest in Him face to face. And the Lord took me back to a time in my life when I was, I was 18, I just, I, or 19 years old, and it was uh, Christmas was coming. It's about this time of year, and Christmas parties were happening, and these Christmas parties that I used to go to, I used to just get drunk, hammered at in the past, and I'd been radically saved, and now I'm around family that I used to be one way with, and now I was different around the same family, and I remember I would go in my room, and I would just worship while the party was going on upstairs, and I would just get whacked with joy like I'm forgiven in my room oh my gosh I'd just be freaking out in my room because I could feel the tangible hand of God on my life and then I'd go back up in the party and be like hey guys I didn't know it but in our language I could say I was drinking and leaking and it was a wild time and I just want to prophesy over every person here and every family that no matter what circumstance you're about to walk into with the holidays, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You have nothing to be afraid of. If you drink and you feast, you can go anywhere. This uh, last few days, my life was just wrecked as I, I just got back from a trip. Um, I went to Huntsville, Texas and got to minister to 1,300 inmates in the, the prison system there in Huntsville. And um, it was absolutely amazing. I got to preach the gospel and, and a little over 100 guys, it's hard to tell, a bunch of hands went up, we estimated maybe 100, uh, just responded to surrender their lives to Christ right there and it was, it was really powerful. But I got to meet, um, I got to meet some guys that there's a guy there named Charlie who's been developing a school, a BSSM school of ministry there. And many of the guys, many of the pastors here have been there and we're continuing to go back there. There's a group of guys that are burning for Jesus in this prison. This transformation all over this. Here's what you don't understand. We're sitting there and me and my friend Dominic are in there. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, I got a word for you. And they begin to prophesy over us. I'm talking about former white supremacist, racist. I'm talking about former Satanist, tattooed up Satanist tender-hearted, loving Jesus, soft, hugs, tears, amazing men. The Lord told me before I went in there, He said, you're going to see the face of Christ. Because I was praying like, well, what am I going to see? And He said, you're going to see my face in there. And uh, it, it wrecked me to see a place where the most hardened criminals and you know in our society that we would say we have no use for them no place for them how i've seen i saw the face of god touch lives i saw shame lifted off tons of guys it was unbelievable to see the shame the gospel is so powerful oh my gosh have you, do you guys know how powerful the gospel is like there's no life that's safe Nobody's safe from His grace. You haven't blasphemed the Holy Spirit if the enemy's telling you you have. Because if you're still hungry, God's drawing you. You're not that far gone. Like anybody can come to Christ. The Spirit of God 
never leaves us the same way he found us. He always transforms. Spirit of transformation, that's what he does. And so if you're in this room tonight and you'd say, you know what, man, I feel like there's an impossibility in my life. Maybe, I, I sense maybe you're a husband and you just keep snapping with that anger thing and you're afraid of yourself. God wants to transform you tonight. There's different situations going on in this room and you feel like you're, you're ashamed. You keep returning to the dog vomit. And I'm just here to tell you right now, God's not rubbing your nose in the dog vomit. He is here to love you with kindness and mercy and grace. The power of authenticity is what breaks shame. And I saw a bunch of guys just as I preached on Mephibosheth and I laid out a tablecloth that the Father takes us and He takes our clubbed feet, our shame, and He puts it underneath the Father's table and says, you get to eat at my table forever as a son, as a son, as a son. And Mephibosheth's name means dispeller of shame. So if you're here right now and you, you feel it, it's the shame thing. Many times the reason why we can't even get honest with ourselves is because we're ashamed to. And so I want to encourage you right now, if you're in this place and, and you're like, man, I, I need freedom. I want to go to the next level. I need breakthrough. If that's you and you feel like shame's just been pushing you down, authenticity breaks shame where you just come and say, okay, yes, I need, I need, I need freedom. I want that. If that's you, just raise up both hands in the air right now. It says in Isaiah, it says that he will give you a double portion for your shame. A double portion of honor where the enemy lies to you and says, if you come into the light, you're going to get punished and it's over. God says, you're going to get double honor. And the thing that the enemy wants used against you to destroy you, I will use to destroy him and lift up Jesus through your life. It'll become your testimony. <laughs> so right now we just declare the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead over your life to break every bondage, every stronghold. I declare the blood of Jesus Christ to set free, to cleanse, to celebrate you, to draw you into affection with the Spirit of God. He is self-existing. There is no match for him. He is unequal to anyone. He is strong. He's patient. He's kind. And he's just loving you right now. So we just release a spirit of transformation. He's not afraid of failure. He's not afraid of you. We just release the spirit of transformation. The spirit of God. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead to just come and kiss you right now. Right now, just begin to just prophesy over them. Just minister to them right now. Just pray over them. If you got your hands up, if somebody around you with their hands up and, and they're not receiving prayer, just get to them real quick. Just let's go. This is, let's do this. We just declare freedom. You will never be the same again from this moment, ever. It's impossible. You will never be the same again from this moment. That anger thing, it's just, it's just lifting. It's an effortless freedom. It's an effortless deliverance. It's just lifting. Just, just give it to him. Just, it doesn't make sense with your mind. You can't try and figure it out. You just got to surrender. Lord, I just surrender this to you. I just surrender this to you. I just surrender this to you. I just surrender my heart. I surrender my life. Come and fill me, Holy Spirit. God doesn't ever take something out without bringing something in. He's coming to bring. He's not afraid of anything. It's like he's got... It's like you're a, you're a pitcher with some dirt in it, and he's got an ever-ending hose, and he's just got it on full blast. <laughs> just let him feel, 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 let him feel. There's, I, I see a vision of like a, a bubbling well. It's underneath your feet, and it's just coming up your body, and it's just coming up your heart, and it's just going to come up like Niagara, like, like, like Yellowstone, pow, right up through your head. It's just, it's just coming up. It's just rising up. Don't dwell on the past, says the Lord. Don't dwell on the past. Behold, a new thing springs up. Do you not perceive it? Let it just come. Let it come. Come on, 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 come on. We sang earlier about earlier about how he stands at our grave like a metaphor of Lazarus. He stands with tears in his eyes before he says, Come alive, or whatever that was. 
And I feel like the Lord's saying, it's time to take off your grave clothes. You're alive, it's time to take off your grave clothes. Take off your grave clothes. You don't look, they, they don't belong to you. They're not, they're not, it's not who you are, it's not your identity, it's not your past. It's not who you are. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Just put your hand on the person next to you. I feel like there's going to be electricity just shoot through this place. We're going to be transformed from glory to glory.
So good. So good. How many you want more? There's more. There's more. Say, God, I want more. I want more. I want more, Jesus. I want enough till my old city knows you, God. You don't have to repeat that. Just take it. A lot of people be like, God, I want, I want more. And it's like, God's like, I'm looking for somebody who will ask for so much more that the whole city will come to know him. Like I often, I heard one time and I often think about like, you know, when blind Bartimaeus came to Jesus and he said, what do you want? He said, well, I want to see. And his eyes opened, Jesus opened his eyes. What would have happened if he said, I want me and all my friends to see? Just a thought. God, I'm hungry. Lord, I'm hungry and I want all my friends that don't know you yet to hunger too. Lord, give us vision. Put your hand on your own heart. Give us vision. Vision for city transformation, for city reformation. Lord, that we are carriers of this. We're not just here for a good time. We thank you for the, the goosebumps and everything that you give us, God. But, but God, we ask you to expand our hearts and minds. God, would you expand our hearts and minds for city reformation, God, for revival, for transformation in our cities, God. Father, would you just do so much more inside of our hearts and minds that, God, that you would blow our minds, Father, for what you want to do in and through our lives and our cities, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, man. Give God praise. Come on.